What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to Breaking News. The SBA commits to raising idle loan caps to $2 million. It is Wednesday, April the 14th, 2021. Please do me each favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Hashtag EIDL with your comments below. Don't forget. One of the reasons why I'm able to bring you this breaking news today is because we're making major amounts of noise on Twitter right now at Try Small Biz. That's Try Small Biz. Half of you are on Twitter. We should have no less than 30,000 Twitter followers right now. We got barely over 3,000. So when this video is done, please. I've earned it. Go to Twitter, try Small Biz, username Small Biz Inc., the company I formed a couple of weeks ago, to grow your small biz. Ladies and gentlemen, pull up a chair, grab yourself a cup of coffee, ice cold beer, glass of wine, whiskey on a big rock, all of the above. I, I always wondered, what would it be like to mix them all together? Here we go. All right, I just jumped out of the shower. I'm a little sweaty. I wasn't gonna do a video today. But I saw the breaking news about an hour ago and I said, holy shit, haven't you been screaming about this for two, or two years? Feels like two years. Feels like two years. Maybe that's why we're getting 24 months of working capital. Hopefully tum, some, tum time, sometime soon we don't edit around here, especially on a day like this, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everybody, first of all, for the birthday wishes. I turned 51 yesterday. I think I'm still a little at the moment. So I was out late last night. I don't feel the greatest at the moment. Did I mention that I was sweating just out of the shower? But I had to come on for all of our larger small businesses. This is it. I'm going to read parts of a letter that Miss Isabel Guzman sent to Jackie Rosen that she put on her Twitter wall within the last hour. It's now 545 East Coast time in or just outside of Atlanta. There's a lot of restaurants that are going to love the fact that they can get $2 million now. Didn't I tell you guys for all the doubters out there? And we got a few. That a couple of weeks ago, James Rivera, are you listening, James? Was given a project by Miss Isabel Guzman to come up with a way to raise the caps to $2 million and still, and still, and still not run out of money for all the people I see on Twitter. Oh, that means they're going to feed the fat cats. Look, this doesn't apply to most of you. I get it. But there's a lot of restaurants and small businesses right down the street in Atlanta that have been screaming and hollering at me and others to get these caps up to $2 million. This is a major fucking victory for the small business owner in this country. But I'm not done yet. Like I said at the opener, I think I said it anyway, we got a lot of people that got approved today. I'm talking probably 30, 30 new emails. I'm backed up 500 at least, so please be patient with me. And yes, I'm estimating about a third of the people that are getting the targeted idle advance funded are in middle income communities. You've sent me the graphs, you're outside of the purple zone, but for some reason, the SBA is funding you and your business $10,000 or the balance thereof, depending on what you got this time last year. All right, so look, this letter is jammed full of information. Should you apply for the 24 months of idle loan but without getting the email? Yes, you should. What is it? COVID EIDL, increase requests at SBA.gov. Don't wait for the email. COVID EIDL, it's pinned in my community wall. Increase requests at SBA.gov. Include your information, your company, your address, your phone number, your loan, and your uh, app number. And most of you have not gotten a bounce back. By the way, do not listen to the advice of a well-intentioned new channel. I'm not familiar with this gentleman, but he's telling you if you didn't get the bounce back, send in another email. No, don't do that because I'm going to tell you a story after I read this email or why we might have a potential disaster with respect to this modified reconsideration. But more good news, I hear they're fast tracking. I don't know what fast track means yet, but my loan officer told me today they're working on a fast track with respect to the 24 months of working capital. So, all right, Jason, you're all over the fucking map. Well, that's what happens when you spend an entire week out with your buddies and your friends until two o'clock in the morning you think you're going to take the night off, and then all of a sudden, bing, 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 bing. Are you seeing the news? Weren't you screaming about $2 million loan caps for a year? Yes, I was. Please give this video a thumbs up. Consider sharing it all over social media because there's a lot of small businesses out there that are going to survive because of what Miss Isabel Guzman just did by raising the loan caps on the idle program to $2 million. Share it everywhere. Thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments below. All right. 
Before I read this letter out loud, because she talks about how much is there for the grants, does she really have discretion to give middle and high income people the balance of the 10 grand? And if, if not, what, what then, Jace? What then, Big J? J, what do they call you? J, Big J, Jace, Uncle Jason? My niece and nephew call me Uncle Jason. My friends call me Big J. Some people call me even worse than that, if you can imagine. But I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am a little fired up today because this has been a, a, a tough motherfucking fight. There are so many businesses, I can think of them right now, down the street, not even a half an hour from me. That are gonna make it. So. They're going to make it. <clears throat> All right, Jason, get it together. That's enough of the crying. Thank you to Miss Isabel Guzman. I know you're in probably over your head with the federal government and its bureaucracy, but you've done a lot. You've extended def uh, deferment of the loan payments out a year. <sighs> you gave us 24 months of working capital and I understand it's off to a rough start. More on that in a second. And now you've raised the damn loan caps to $2 million. So, bit emotional here, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, before I forget, thank you to Speak and See who sang me happy birthday in a video. Most of you probably didn't see it. Those types of things don't get much reach from YouTube, but appreciate it, brother. Thanks for staying in the fight. By the way, the petition, we had 1,500 signatures. Now we got close to 5,000. Thank you very much. We got an odds, odds on chance now of it being picked up by the press. Maybe they want to talk to him. How about me or both of us? Because we ain't stopping. I'm getting it together now, ladies and gentlemen. Until it's 10 grand or the balance thereof to everyone, I'm gonna talk about that based on what's in this letter. 24 months of working capital for the love of God at some point before the end of this year. And I want the idle loan, Big Ben Carden. You've been a total flop. You're acting like Marco Polo lately. You need to come through for us, Big Ben, because we need to get S513 based on what Isabel just said in this letter through the Senate ASAP. Right, Chuck? Didn't I hear end of April? The pressure's on, pal, because Isabel just said she has no discretion to give anybody in middle or high income because of one sentence in this email. So look. What a video, right? Very emotional, very all over the place. I'm very grateful to the Almighty, too, for this $2 million cap. I'm grateful that our friends in low and some in middle are getting 10 grand. I'm extremely grateful for 20 more, four months of working capital, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. And I'm gonna be very grateful this time next year when Ben Cardin actually comes through with my help and others, of course, to at least forgive 50 to 100,000 based on economic loss of probably 30% or greater. So ladies and gentlemen, look. I'm gonna read parts of this letter. In terms of the loan, it is a bit of a fiasco at the moment. And this video is gonna go 20 minutes, so if you gotta come back, fine. I cried for two minutes. It's been a hell of a journey. My loan officer told me this morning, all right, I'm gonna get back on track now. At any given time in the last 12 months, there's 300,000 reconsiderations in process. We learned, again in this letter, 3.7 million people got a loan last year. Average size of the loan, 64,000. 5.7 million got a grant. Average size of the grant, 3,400 bucks. So the average small business is due, what is that? $6,600-ish. We learn in this letter that there is in fact $30 billion for the targeted idle advance in low-income community. The $5,000 supplemental grant is on the way. I may not get to that, but it's pinned in the top. You can read it yourself. 
Isabel references that to Miss Jackie Rosen, but let me tell you about the loan and then I wanna read one part in this particular letter. We have gotten hundreds of emails. Please don't email me unless you have a major, major, major problem because I probably address it, even though this is a bit of a train wreck, I get it. If you were in my shoes for the last 12 months carrying all this weight, you might get a little emotional too. That's a big fucking chip that we just, uh, we, a big boulder that we just finally pushed up the hill. There's so many businesses that are gonna survive because of this. You can hear the snowflakes right now, right? They're just antsy. Oh, get to the point. You're supposed to be telling me about my fucking 10 grand in my loan. What about me? You know, that's true. But some of you, thank God, understand that I have given you everything along with other channels and a few friends of mine who are as badass as I am and then some to pound away. Bad cop and big time on Twitter the last couple of days. Maybe it's making a difference because you're gonna hear something in this letter from Miss Isabel Guzman that sounds like she's talking to moi and the other channels. So don't wait to apply for 24 months. COVID EIDL increase requests at SBA.gov. Do not send another one and back up the system because I'm back on track. I know, I know, I know, I know, folks. Please cut me some slack today. My birthday week, I'm exhausted, and this is a big deal. 300,000 are in reconsideration, and I thank those that understand that this is an emotional moment for me. Unfortunately, the SBA in its infinite wisdom, and I know they know this now because they're realizing it, and that's why a fast track solution is on the way. You may hear about that in the next mm, two or three days-ish. I would like to hear something by Friday, but I'll take Monday if necessary. They are sending people that they're asking for 2019 taxes and 4506T is in Tom, right back to the old reconsideration email address, pdcrecons at sba.gov. And no, don't clog up the system by sending another email and don't send them your taxes and 4506T because you might open Pandora's box. They might say, gee, we were never gonna ask you for those, but now that you sent it to us, you're looking a little light in the loafers there, pal. I don't see any six months of working capital that you deserve. In fact, we might want to claw back that loan we already gave you. Do not send any documents unless they ask you for them. Unfortunately, let's do the math real quick, and then I'm going to read this, parts of this letter. 300,000 people are in reconsideration right now at pdcrecons at sba.gov. That's the rolling month average. 3.7 million got a loan. Upwards of seven or eight million of the nine million applied for the loan, but about half got rejected for poor credit, fraud, didn't have a real business, etc. So if we had 300,000 and I've helped over 300 people win in reconsideration, most for denial related to credit score or insufficient loss and bullshit like that, but some for increase as well. So if you have 300,000, in the recent polls that we've done said that 85% of you want access to 24 months of working capital. Well, what's 85% of the 3.7 million that got a loan already? About 3 million people. So you can only imagine. And I, they got an earful from me today. Believe me when I tell you this. We're making a huge difference on Twitter. Try Small Biz. That's the URL. Username Small Biz Inc. Follow me there. It's absolutely crucial. Like it, retweet, comment if you like. They are sending everybody that they're requesting documents into their pile where there's 300,000 people. So 3 million have reached out or are in the process right now at COVID EIDL increase request at SBA.gov. If they send us all into reconsideration with 300,000 now becomes 3.3 million, you can only imagine the horror because it takes two to three months right now to win in reconsideration. Those 300,000 people wait on average at least two or three months to get an answer from the SBA. So if they're gonna send, Isabel, I know you know this, I know your staff knows this. If you're gonna send 3 million people into the same 3.3 million car pile up, this is gonna be a fiasco of epic proportions. But the fast track that I heard about this afternoon, I don't know how they're gonna do it. So don't ask me for details, I don't have it. They realize that they may have made a mistake sending everybody, if they're gonna actually pull taxes in 4506T from 3 million people, they now realize 
holy shit, it might be six months before some of you get your money now. I know that there's gonna be some angry people that are gonna ruin a very emotional, touching, slash, victory for this channel. It is what it is. I think they're gonna avoid that. Why? Because they're listening. Isabel Guz Guzman knows exactly who I am. Everybody I tag knows exactly who I am. The whole staff now that's on Twitter is listening to every fucking word I say. Every post eight to 10 times a day is being tracked and followed and responded to many cases with DMs behind the scenes. But anyway, I think we're gonna avoid a 3.3 million car pileup instead of seeing some of you have to wait four, five, six months. They now realize they made a mistake. They may come out with an email about a fast track or they may say, okay, here's the minimum requirements. If we already gave you a loan, you got a credit score north of 650, and maybe one or two other things, we're not gonna ask you to send any documents. You're just gonna get a damn email because we can't possibly wait six months to get three million people through reconsideration. More on that another day. All right, dear Senator Rosen, thank you for sticking with me. It's gonna be 20 minutes. I know, most of you won't make it through. Some of you, please humor me. Thank you for your letter regarding COVID-19. This is Isabel Rose, uh, Guzman, excuse me, yeah, Isabel Rosen. Well, they often seem like the same because they, in my book, are doing a very, very good job. Thank you, Jackie, and your staff. And Jorge, you know, thank you very much for all the abuse you take, believe me. Thank you for your letter regarding, I'll pin it at the top. Uh, within a few days of being sworn in as the new SBA administrator, this is Ms. Guzman talking to Jackie Rosen, I announced the SBA will take action to eliminate the caps. James, Rever James Rivera's project, right? I told you about that weeks ago. On April 6, 2001, the SBA raised the loan limit uh, from 150 to up to 24 months of economic injury with a maximum amount of 500,000. Well, I'm also proud, she goes on to say, to report that the SBA will not stop at 500,000. Thank you, Isabel. We are working on a next phase. Didn't I say that word phase? The next phase, James Rivera, I, I swear I told you guys that two or three weeks ago. The next phase, so no, they don't announce the date, but they soon will. I say it's going to be about a week to 10 days now. Uh, I'm also proud to report the SBA will not stop. We're going to work on the next phase that will increase loan amounts to the full statutory loan limit of $2 million for qualifying businesses, effectively eliminating all caps. If you're in a middle or high income community, don't go anywhere because I'm going to read a paragraph in here that talks to us. So don't go anywhere. Please, again, like the video and share it. There's a lot of businesses out there that were screaming for $2 million loans when they're now about to get it. And this channel played a huge part along with your help and the others I've mentioned in getting this done. All right, so she's raising the caps. No date. I'm imagining it's going to be a week to 10 days. This added relief builds upon the SBA's previous March 21 announcement that the agency will automatically extend deferred payments. So she goes on to talk about expending payments. In your letter, because Jackie has written Isabel a couple of times, you also requested that the SBA eliminate caps on the Idle Advance program. She goes on to say that there are no caps. In other words, everyone is getting 10 grand of the balance thereof. There is no more 1,000 per employee. Right, me, Kevin? Didn't you say that was gonna be the case? And I said, uh, -uh. and then all your, your minions attacked me about two months ago. Well, it looks like, I and members of this channel that stuck with me were fucking right, weren't we? We're gonna get everybody 10 grand. You heard it here first. I've been saying that for a year and it's gonna happen. Stick with me. I'm gonna read you the part that's uh, alluding to that fact. She goes on to tell everybody that she didn't, there is no caps, it's 10 grand. So whether you get it in a low or you're in a middle, and I've even had a guy yesterday, got, got 10 grand in a high income community. He's 12,000, I think it's Alabama, 12,000 over the state of Alabama. He got 10 grand. I saw it with my own two eyes. Funded, where he lives, he's outside of the purple zone. So don't ask me, are they using discretion? Are they making mistakes? Probably both. All right, currently the SBA is administrating the targeted idle advance, which there's $30 billion in. Uh, was as a result of the December 27, um, the initial funding was... Uh, the initial appropriation was $20 billion. Um, the American Rescue Plan, which is Biden's plan, later increased the total appropriations to $30 billion. So there's $30 billion fuss, fuss, plus $5 billion for the supplemental, which she references here in a second, with an additional $5 billion of targeted payments for those hardest hit by the pandemic. Um, 
The targeted idle advance program provides the full amount of $10,000. Bravo, thank you very much. Less any amount already received. So if you got 2,000, you get 8,000. If you got 5,000, you get another 5,000. Uh, the supplemental targeted advance provides an additional $5,000 to all eligible entities <coughs> located in a low income community. More on that in a second. We knew that. That suffered a 50% economic loss and have fewer than 10 employees. Here's the part if you made it this far. I know, I know, I know. Thank you for those half of you that made it this far and will watch the whole video. I hope you realize that I care deeply about you and your family. I'm going to dedicate my life to regrowing your business through Try Small Biz, which will turn into a mobile app shortly thereafter. This is the part that I think she's speaking to us. Quote, many people are calling on the SBA. Gee, I wonder who that is. To reverse the prior administration's policy concerning the original idle advance in hopes that we can provide additional grant funds to those businesses that do not qualify for the targeted idle advance. So that's us, that's Speak, that's Stephen Carlson, that's Aubrey Janik, that's Ryder over at Skip, Max Maher, JJ the CPA, you know, you, we're all in this together. We couldn't do it without, without all of them. We have been screaming at them for a year to include everybody else, middle and high income. And that number, as you've seen me say repeatedly on Twitter, is 5 million. 9 million applied, only a third are gonna be low income. That leaves 6 million. I say 1 million-ish are full of shit and shouldn't have applied in the first place. That means 5 million people are getting denied, i.e. screwed over. And I'm not gonna accept that and neither should you. So she goes on to say, the SBA does not have the statutory authority required to take action on these requests without new legislation that either, pay attention, that either appropriates additional funds for the idle advance, which was the old program under section 332, 331 is the targeted for low income, $30 billion. So she's saying you have to have new legislation that either gives us more money or you make changes to the existing eligibility criteria for the targeted advance program. So this could be one of two things now. And I'm glad that it's clarified, right? We now know, and I kind of believe her, she doesn't have the legal authority, and I'm sure her lawyers have told her this, to pull the trigger on middle and high income. The law is written, the one, the American Rescue Plan, in such a way that it panders, as I said today, don't get me started there, to low income communities, all about money and power and getting votes. We all know that. So she's saying, I need more money to refund the old program, or I need you to send me President Biden, an executive order, or the EIDL for Small Business Act known as S513 to change the requirements for the targeted idol. So she's basically saying, give me discretion or authority by way of an executive order or a bill to widen out the targeted idol advance, meaning everyone low, middle, and high that suffered a 30% economic loss. And no, I'm not in favor of that option. Or she's saying, pass S513. That way I can give everybody 10,000 of the balance thereof. And you know what? I'm, I'm willing to bet you right now that that's what she wants to do. You know why? She's got bigger fish to fry. There's 3 million people that got their hands out right now, right? 24 months of working capital. The caps are going to $2 million. She's got more than enough work on her plate. A blessing for Miss Isabel Guzman, are you listening, Chuck Schumer? Is to pass S513. That way she can say to all those that I've declined with respect to the targeted idle advance, I got great news. You're getting your 10 grand. I'm not gonna waste time and resources and bandwidth on verifying economic loss. I'm giving 10 grand to everybody. So Chuck Schumer in closing, it better be true what I'm hearing, that you're sandbagging the EIDL for Small Business Act S513 for the end of this month because if you let the $2.2 trillion infrastructure bill pass without sliding $15 billion in for $10,000 or the balance thereof, regardless of where the hell you live, I will dedicate at least half of my life to roasting your ass until the good Lord takes me and puts me six feet under. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate everyone who stuck around. I've given my heart and soul to you and your family. This $2 million loan thing is a big deal for a lot of families that will sleep much better tonight. So I thank you for the support. I thank you for this 25 minute video. I thank you for sticking with me and all the other channels. And don't forget, 
Try small biz on Twitter. I tweet eight to 10 times a day. And if you read between the lines, a lot of what is coming out now, I've been pounding away on for days, weeks, and months. Always remember, I love you, each and every one of you. Thanks for watching.